Today we will discuss about instantaneous center. Total instant instantaneous center. I take suppose this is a link part of a mechanism. Suppose for any link A B is in general motion. Now at time t is equal to t, t is here. After time t is equal to t plus dt. Now the position of the link will be this. If I join this point will be b dash. This will be a dash. Now to understand this. I take a circle, if I draw radius, here you can say the radius on periphery anywhere is perpendicular to the center of the circle. Now, if I sit on the center O and take this point A, now this point will be in pure rotational, pure rotational, pure rotational, pure rotational. Now hence proved if I sit at the center of the circle and draw a perpendicular on the periphery, then this peri this line touch at any point in the periphery, then the point at any instant will be in circular motion. Now suppose if I draw a perpendicular suppose I draw a perpendicular to this point if I draw a perpendicular to this point now if I sit here suppose this is point I the link is in general motion but I draw a perpendicular from the AA to I and BB to I and this two perpendicular touch at point I. So this will be our instantaneous center. Instantaneous center. Now, in general, in any mechanism, any link is neither in pure rotational motion, neither in nor in pure translation motion. It is in general motion at any instant. At any link, at any instant, we can say is in pure rotational motion pure rotational motion with respect to some point and this point in space is known as instantaneous center it is here it is also a part of the mechanism and outside in space anywhere about any point it, it, if our link is in pure rotational motion then it will be our instantaneous center now, if I talk about rotational motion, omega is the rotational rotational motion velocity. Suppose I take a point B A. If I draw a perpendicular or a line from this link at anywhere. Suppose C, D, E, F. Now, the only difference in these point only of radius, but all point about I center will be in pure rotational motion. To understand this, we suppose we take an example. I take a point O, A. B, C. If I sit on point C and C, the point O, point O will be pure rotational motion. The only difference on this point will be of radius. The only difference on this point will be of radial distance. And about all these points, this point O will be in pure rotational motion. Same case here. The only difference in between this point will be of radius. 
Now B I is radius. If I take B C, then C I will be a radius. Now what is this A I? I is defined for the relative motion between two link. Suppose, for example, two link. I defined for the relative motion between link two and link three. Now, if I take another point, locus of I center for relative motion. Between two link is known as centroid. What is centroid? This is centroid. Locus of I center for relative motion between two link is known as centroid. Locus of I axis. I mention here axis. Mention here center here axis. Now locus of I axis. For relative motion between two link is known as axon. Now, if I take motion, what will be axon of this motion and what will be axon of this motion? Suppose I take example of pure translational motion or from pure translation, then our centroid will be a line. In pure translational motion, you can see if I take a center of this point, then the center of this point will be a line. And if suppose this link is in pure translational motion, then the surface will be a plane surface. If I pure rotational motion, then Suppose this is rotating about this point, so so that the center will be a point, and the axon will be. You can see if it is a disc, I take this disc here, then the line will be a axon. If I take an example of general motion, then the center will be a curve, and the axon will be a Curve surface. Now, this is about instantaneous center. I repeat. I will repeat the definition of a cent instantaneous center. In general, in any mechanism, any link, neither in pure rotational motion nor in pure translational motion. It is a combination of rotational and Translational motion and this motion is called general motion. At any instant, at any link, we can say in pure rotational motion with respect to some point in space, and this point in space is known as our instantaneous center. So this is our instantaneous center. Thank you.